Hi, I'm Shaul. Today I'm going to discuss the concept of sharpness in uh, dirty photography. Uh, sharpness has been one of those uh, axi axiomatic uh, concepts in uh, photography, maybe since the very beginning of uh, uh, this medium. Um, it has always been uh, very well understood that uh, your subject has to be uh, as sharp as uh, possible. In fact, sharpness uh, is uh, one of the main uh, tools uh, in the photographer's toolbox to actually draw the attention uh, of the viewer to a certain uh, uh, element in the, in the frame. Uh, because uh, the eye is uh, naturally drawn to contrast, so the highest uh, uh, contrast uh, areas in the frame are where the eye uh, uh, tends to, to go first and uh, uh, concentrate and, and, and look for uh, details. Um, now, uh, a branch of this uh, concept is selective uh, sharpness, uh, where you try to uh, put your subject in, uh, in, in the best sharpness uh, possible, the best focus uh, possible, and uh, uh, blur out uh, uh, competing uh, elements in the, in the frame. Um, however, uh, this is based on the concept that uh, the, 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 there is only one uh, uh, subject, only one uh, point of interest in, in the entire uh, frame. Uh, however, in documentary photography things are uh, a bit different because um, the context is more important. You want uh, the attention uh, of the viewer to wander around the, the, the frame to uh, to see the whole uh, uh, image as uh, one piece, so the elements or objects in the in the frame are, are not exactly competing uh, with each other for uh, uh, for the viewer's attention. They are rather supporting each other to make. Uh, the big picture, the whole thing, uh, uh, more compelling. Um, and this is uh, also what I, I try to do uh, in what I call uh, uh, dirty photography. In um, portrait photography or other single subject uh, genre like uh, uh, wildlife, uh, sometimes uh, sports. Uh, the idea of uh, focus is uh, binary. Things are either in focus or uh, out of focus. But uh, Sharpness is uh, uh, actually a whole scale that goes from uh, uh, very sharp to uh, very unsharp to, to, to uh, 
just a smooth uh, uh, background where there is uh, absolutely no uh, no detail but the interesting interesting things are, are um, in between where things are clearly not at the maximum uh, sharpness but uh, they are still uh, recognizable there is still uh, a detail that might uh, catch the, the viewer's eye and uh, distract from the main subject in dirty photography um, I, I, try, I, I can uh, put the, my subjects in, in the, those uh, in-between uh, uh, zones where they are not uh, absolutely sharp and I think that it still doesn't uh, detract from the, uh, from the image. Um, as long as you can uh, recognize uh, uh, some details in, 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 in an object or uh, even in a person, it's, uh, it's good enough. You don't need uh, uh, your subject to be absolutely sharp and, uh, and detailed um, it's it's quite enough if um, if, if the sharp subject is uh, sharper than anything else in the in, in the image um, if, if the whole uh, image is uh, soft because of uh, missed focus or uh, motion blur or camera shake or whatever. It's enough if uh, your subject is uh, just a little bit sharper than uh, uh, the rest of the image to, to make it clear that this is what you want the, the viewer to uh, concentrate on. It's not that um, I, I intentionally uh, t try to push my subjects uh, out of focus, uh, but it happens, especially in, uh, in low light when there is a lot of uh, movement in the frame. Uh, uh, I, I like the, 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 my cameras um, have a good uh, autofocus system that, that can uh, uh, detect a face uh, in, the, in the scene and uh, put the exact uh, focus on it. But uh, uh, often the, the system is just not reliable enough to, to do it. Still, uh, the some of those uh, images with uh, missed focus are, uh, are, are good, are, uh, at, at least to my eyes, I see nothing wrong with them. In fact, uh, the, the missed focus um, creates a sense of uh, integration in the in, in, in the image it's uh, it, it, it somehow amplifies the connection between the subject and the, 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 the environment or the setting and uh, I'm not saying uh, every one of those uh, images is uh, a piece of art, but uh, uh, there's really nothing wrong with them. It's uh, it's it's part of uh, 
the limitations of uh, documentary photography, where the, the intention is uh, to tell the true uh, story, to be authentic. Part of the, the appeal of uh, dirty photography to me is um, the, the non-importance of uh, technical uh, issues. Uh, like if, if your focus is uh, not quite uh, in place, so what? If uh, the image is uh, gritty and uh, noisy and dark or bright, so what? If uh, the colors are, are not exactly uh, true to life, well, so what? It's all about uh, um, capturing life in a, in a truthful uh, manner and uh, telling your story. This is all.